Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at reading a file from the internal storage of your phone or device. So in the last tutorial I used um, this method, open file output, to write to a file and um, I wrote the contents of this edit text view to a file in internal storage and we're going to do the converse of that now and read from it so that when this application starts up it loads the text that you've saved here um, right then. So um, because I want this to happen when the application starts I'm going to add this to my onCreate method which is called when the um, activity is created and I'm going to add a new method here let's call it private void uh, load saved file and um, I'm going to call this in on create so let's have load save file here and now to write the file we had to use um, open file output so you might guess that to read the file we have to use open file input and that takes the name of a file and I'm going to use my predefined text file string here that I declared up here and I'm going to surround that with a try catch and I'll change the exception to um, from file not found exception to just exception so that we can catch everything that I'm about to do with one um, one uh, catch block. I'll also um, use I'll copy this log debug method um, from the the code for writing the file and paste it in here. And if we can't read the file, I'll say unable to read file. And we'll kind of we'll expect that message to um, be output to the debug log in the event that there isn't a file because we haven't previously run the application. And we need to handle um, these um, these events in a more graceful way. Um, but um, for now, this will do. So open file input returns a file input stream. So I'm going to write here file input stream, and I'll call it FIS. And I'll just add, yeah, actually the, the uh, import's already added, so I don't need to add one. And now um, I'd like to read this file input stream line by line. And uh, actually there's very, there are various ways that you can read and write files in Android, um, just as in Java generally. Um, and um, a method that, um, that I think is quite good to use here, um, although it involves a lot of um, nesting one object within another, is, is the following and uh, you'll, if you've read and written files in Java previously you'll be familiar with this kind of Russian doll thing that I'm about to do but I'm going to say here I'm going to wrap FIS in a new uh, data input stream um, object so I'm going to use that to write wrap FIS and I'm going to wrap the data input stream in a new input stream reader like this. So I'm just passing these to the constructor of the next one in the Russian doll sequence. And I'm going to wrap input stream reader in a new um, buffered reader like this. So if I've got this right, um, yeah, the error goes away and we're fine. And I'm going to declare a buffered reader here. So buffered reader reader equals, and I'll just use control shift and F to format that a bit. So it looks a bit crazy, but at least we can just catch all the exceptions down here instead of handling them all separately, which would be a uh, really um, horrible mess. And now um, the code's quite simple because, um, see, from FIS, I can only read bytes. Uh, if I look at the methods of FIS, it's got um, read methods that read um, bytes into a buffer, which isn't much good um, to me. I'd rather read um, something nicer. So I'm going to read this line by line. I'm going to say here while, and, and in two kind of nested brackets here, I'll say while, um, in fact, let's also declare a string line here. And here I'll say line equals reader dot read line. And that's the, that's the beauty of doing all this, that we can just use read line nice and simple. And I'll say that while that lot is not equal to null, so while the stuff in the inner brackets here is not null, 
then go around the loop and after that finish and say if I'll say fis.close to close this um, file input stream and uh, now I want to um, add this to the um, edit text control as I read it in so I'm going to copy some code that I wrote previously here because I've got this um, code here to get the edit text so I'll copy that using find view by ID which we've seen before and I'll paste that in um, let's paste it in um, here actually and, um, and then I'm going to say edit text dot append and just pass in the line that I read there and because um, I'm reading line by line and I'm not reading the new line characters here I also want to say edit text dot append and append a new line every time we append a line of text because otherwise um, it would all just appear on one line um, because I'm not reading the new lines so um, or rather I'm reading them but just uh, ignoring them okay so that should do the trick and it's not um, production ready yet and we've got to handle things like this a bit better but let's give this a go so um, now if I restart this application having already clicked save to save it um, I should see this same text again so there'll be no change whereas if this um, if reading in the save file wasn't successful we would expect to see a blank edit text so let's see um, installing uh, my application and hopefully in just a second we're going to get the success message um, and um, I'm going to in a future tutorial perhaps the next one um, I'm going to just figure out a way of handling this um, this kind of situation better because um, it's no good having debug messages because the user won't see them ok we've finally got success and I'm going to go to DDMS here and just check that there are no funny debug messages and it's loading my application hopefully so I won't touch it and here we go and we've got the text that we previously entered and saved in the main activity edit text here um, so that's it for this tutorial and until next time happy coding